Real Agriculture's coverage of the 2023 Canada's Outdoor Farm Show is brought to you by Pride Seeds. Discover the power of performance. Find out more by going to prideseeds.com. Bernard Tobin here at Canada's Outdoor Farm Show. I am over precision planting now, catching up with Sean Livingston. Sean, how's it going? Great. Thank you for uh, joining us today. Hey, um, Sean, I always enjoy coming to precision planting. There's always something to talk about from technology. Hey, I see some spraying uh, technology here I want to talk about. Um, a new retrofit system that really, you know, allows sprayers to integrate new technology. Tell us about it. Um, so yeah, as we as we look at advancements of spraying in the world of applying our, our chemistry and fertilizers, um, you know, with the introduction of, of what we call Symphony, uh, so Symphony is a PWM control nozzle. Um, this is allowing growers to take their current sprayers and retrofit it to a system that has the technology of today's planters coming out of factory on the equipment that they already own. This is allowing them to control a pump separate from a nozzle for spray pattern control. Um, and it's also actually now giving us row by row shutoff so that our sections are not 20 feet anymore, they're 15 inches. And, and that's critical when we're applying chemistry to the fields. Tell me more about the uh, PWM nozzle here. So the PWM nozzle is what we call pulse width modulation. So the system has a pressure that is set to create a nozzle droplet size that we want for that chemistry. The PWM nozzle then pulses, allowing us to control our application rate matching our speed as we're going through the field. So if we speed up, our nozzles will pulse more. If we slow down, they'll pulse a little bit less. And, and this allows us to always maintain the proper pressure to get the spray droplet sizes that we need. Right. Let's talk about the boom now. How does a retrofit system you know, impact the boom? So one of the, one of the things that, that Precision has done here in the last couple of years is uh, on, on the boom, uh, there's always been a challenge when we switch products of you know, the traditional way, we fill our tank up, we back into the fence line, we turn our system on, we sit there for you know anywhere from three to five minutes and we spray product on the ground until we think we have product in all the nozzles and then we start driving forward. Um, so with not even with just the PWM, but with a grower can do is actually add a reclaim system and now we can charge the boom sections while pushing the, the uh, solution that was in the boom back into our solution tank. Um, which is priming our system. And, and now we're not discharging product on the ground in an area where we really don't want it to be. Um, it allows us to, when we're cleaning out, we can flush the booms back to the tank. So we control where we're disposing of, of actual rinse product. Now I'm gonna pan the camera up here and we're gonna look at this camera. Um, talk about how that integrates into the system. Yeah, so, uh, on the booms, precision planting is looking at a camera system. Uh, this is looking forward at our ground as the sprayer moves through the crop or through the soil. And, and what this is going to allow us to do is identify uh, weed density areas. Um, you know, there's a lot of areas of, of maybe we see a, spray, a see a weed somewhere, so we turn the nozzle on just to spray that weed if that's what we're looking for. Um, but the camera technology is going to be a data collecting platform that's going to give us so much power to re-look at the way we are doing our chemical applications, right? A lot of labels have a range of X for weeds this big and Y for weeds that are this big. And, and the camera will, will identify those areas and probably give us the control to increase our rates for weeds that are in a different spectrum. Yeah. Hey, tell me about the precision um, planting you know, platform. Um, planting, spraying, combines, it, it's a little bit of everything here and, and going many different places. Um, must be exciting times. It, it is, it's, uh, you know, as you get the 2020 monitor in the cab of the tractor uh, combine sprayer now, um, you know, it, it's exciting because that monitor that we're used to using that gives us so much valuable data. Like you said, it's, it's sprayers and planters, which are two critical passes in our farm, right? One, to set the system up, and two, to protect the system. 
Then you have the combine to, to harvest it and we collect that data. But what's exciting is that, you know, with the advancements of uh, clarity that was released there uh, this year, um, we're now on strip till bars looking at our fertilizer distribution, uh, seed drills for downforce and seed and fertilizer distribution on that. So it's exciting because that, that platform is, is now used all over the farm, not just on the planter where we started from. Yeah, final question, and that is about the retrofit system here. Uh, availability, when are farmers and, and sprayer operators going to be able to get their hands on it? Uh, so the reclaim system for recirculating booms, it is available now. Um, you know, guys are, are ordering it, they're using it, they're really enjoying it. Uh, the Symphony system, uh, we're looking like a, a commercial launch in November area, limited commercial. Um, the camera system, that's a little hard for me to answer. It's uh, maybe a little bit above my pay grade, but you know what, we see one here. I know they're in the testing, so they'll, they'll be here in short time. Great stuff, Sean. I always appreciate you making time for Real Agriculture. I thank you very much. It was awesome.